Man, <clears throat> there's not no diss video, man. I'm just <clears throat> giving my opinion. <clears throat> what I think that... <clears throat> excuse me. What I think Devin should do, man. I'm just now getting in the house, man. But I think I need to put this out before I forget. Man, <clears throat> Devin need to start fighting some slow Mexicans, man. Until he get his punch. Till he, till, till he start... Until he learned how to sit down on his punches and follow through, follow through and punch through the target. Cause fighting fast motherfuckers with with a with, with a hole. This nigga knew a lot of uh Donares knew a lot of um he was doing a lot. He was setting tank up with those combinations, man. Fast combinations, power. Surprise Tank didn't get knocked out in that fight, man. Tank Tank lucky to get through that fight without getting knocked out. He did a good job boxing Lenares. Because people usually get Lenares out of there. People usually don't go 12 rounds with him. People that go 12 rounds with him don't do too good. But that's neither here nor there. Tank need to start feasting off of slow Mexicans like like Geronte Davis do, man. When do, when do they ever put Tank in there with fast up-and-coming fighters or... Or fast motherfuckers. When they put them in there with these type of... On Dusty Tank, 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 my nigga, man. I ain't trying to take nothing away from him, but he always fighting slow Mexicans, man. We ever see Tank in there with Gary Russell or somebody like that, man. We ever see him fighting people like that. You don't. You don't see him fighting Gary Russell and Tiafema Lopez. You don't see him in there with those type of fights. You always see him with some slow Mexicans, man. Leo Santa Cruz and shit, Mario Mario Lopez, whatever the fuck this nigga name is. That's what that's what that's what um for the next three years, for the next three years, Davis should be fighting slow Mexicans until he gets his man strength and a new coach. Get a new coach, good coach, a real coach, and his man strength. So he can start knocking motherfuckers out, man. Now, right now, he just don't have a follow through, man. He just not, even when he look like he, see, is, is he turning the punch all the way over or he just don't have no power? I just hope the kid is not like Pauly Malignaggi, man. I just hope he don't have a, the Pauly Malignaggi curse. So he going to have a long career, man. He only 21. If he don't get his strength, he going to get knocked out. Because those guys going to start walking through him. Tank would be the worst fight for him. If he don't have no power, Tank would be all over him. He would be he he would be eating power shots all night long or running around the ring trying to get out this. Tank would just walk him down the whole fight. He would lose on he would be running. Tank would just be Tank would just drop his hands and slip and dip and and, and that would be a terrible fight for um that would be a terrible fight for for him. I think he'd be better off with um Lopez. Lopez gonna counter punch. Tank is not gonna be trying to counter punch. Tank gonna lead off. Tank gonna just start walking him down, man. I don't know, man. I just don't know, man. But um start fighting slow Mexicans, man. So you can get up you can get away from you can get away from their punch and then hit the shit out them. Then get them out of there, man. We'll see, man. <clears throat>